Let's talk about the sexy stuff with rental properties. Let's talk about floodplains. Same with Faster Freedom here. The very first thing I look at when I'm analyzing any property is I go on MLS and I look to see if it's in a floodplain. Now there's a few things to look for. The property's either not in a floodplain, it's in a 500 year floodplain, it's in a 100 year floodplain, and it, or if it's in a 100 year floodway. The really main concerning things are the 100 year floodplain and the 100 year floodway. The reason that's concerning is because it requires additional flood insurance on top of your homeowner's insurance and that could be an issue for trying to sell the property or trying to rent it most of the time depending on what type of flood plain or flood way your property is in it can be 80 to 120 dollars a month additional insurance and most of the time that's at least half if not more of your monthly income from the property sometimes it's not very obvious if it's in a floodplain because i'm standing right now in a hundred year floodplain you wouldn't you wouldn't have thought that just looking around this is a property we recently purchased the floodplain goes halfway into the yard so we got a flood certificate before we bought the property it cost ten dollars and that showed us that the home is not in a floodplain but the back of the yard is so most of the time that will not require additional insurance and in this case it did not all right let's go inside and i'm going to show you how to look this up on the fema map and if you're an mls agent or you have access to the mls i'll show you how to look it up on the mls as well all right what's up guys lucas with faster freedom here uh, sam and yates out in the field at our latest rental 130 woodlawn and like sam and yates said um, this property, uh, part of the property is in a floodplain and you would never know it. So we look at if a property is in a floodplain every time before we purchase it. We, we buy 175 plus houses a year and we look at this every time. And I'm gonna take you through how I do that. Um, so if you see my screen now, this is our local MLS platform. So I am a licensed agent, or if you know a licensed agent, you can use this. So. You go here, you click on Realist Tax. So this is our uh, tax ID database, database. Type in 130 Woodlawn or whatever address is in question. Sometimes it gives you um, examples on what to click on. Other times it just jumps straight to the address. But we don't want the report, we want the map. So I'm gonna close out the report and look at the map here. Um, zoom in a little bit. But you can see a lot of activity going on. So. You can see the outline of our property is right here. And half of that is in flood zone AE, which is, if you look down here, this, this light purple is a 100 year floodplain. Um, no, if you're in the 100 year floodplain, you're gonna need flood insurance, which is about uh, 80 or 100 bucks a month extra on top of your additional uh, regular insurance. What is unique about this particular piece of ground is the house is actually at the very front of the property, so not in the floodplain. So we thought there was a chance that we wouldn't have to have flood insurance on this property. Um, and for reference, the yellow is the 500 year floodplain and you do not need flood insurance if in the 500 year floodplain. So. Uh, we're, we're, our lot is halfway in it, our house isn't in it at all, so we reached out to a local um, insurance agency, a home insurance agency, and asked them to run a flood certification on our house. And when they do that, they are able to see as if, if a lender is going to require you to have flood insurance. Um, Luckily for us, it came back uh, negative, so we don't have to have flood insurance on this house, which is great. Uh, we're keeping it as a rental, so that's 80 to $100 extra cash flow a month in our pocket. Um, if we were uh, flipping this house and retailing it, uh, it's just worth a, a lot more, probably 20 grand more, not being in a floodplain. The in buyer on this deal, is that's something they're gonna look at heavily, and not having to have flood insurance is gonna be extremely important to them because that lowers their payment, 80 to 100 bucks a month, and they don't have to, have to worry about flooding, which um, is another concern. So no floodplain here. This is how we look it up if you're an agent or no agent. Um, and now I'm gonna show you if, you, if you don't have your license or know someone with their license, uh, how you can look it up. All right, so just Google FEMA, F-E-M-A. And go ahead and hit, click the homepage, FEMA.gov. Go over to the navigation tab and search for flood. And we're gonna go to the Flood Map Service Center. All right. Enter the address in question here, 130 Woodlawn. 
and it uh, takes a while to load too, but you'll get a similar map that, that we just looked at. Uh, that is not the correct address. So I am going to type in the full address, 130 Woodlawn St. Charles Mo. And that should give us a little more. There we go. Let this load up a little bit here. Probably start to see the color like we saw in the MLS. Uh, there it is. Um, very similar uh, premise here as far as um, the legend goes, just different colors. That's all FEMA has compared to, compared to your local MLS. So on this map, the um, light blue is the 100 year floodplain and the tan is the uh, 500 year floodplain. So as you can see, I was talking about earlier, here's our house right here and it's completely out of the flood floodplain. Um, the 100 year floodplain, which uh, helped us in this case. Uh, sometimes your house is out of it and you're still gonna need flood insurance. So uh, if the 100 year floodplain is on your property at all, I would go ahead and run that flood cert if it's on a portion of the property. If it's covering your entire lot or entire piece of property, uh, you probably don't need to run the flood cert because you're more than likely gonna need flood insurance. So um, I hope this was helpful. I'll send it back to Sam and Yates in the field and they can wrap this thing up for you. See you guys. I understand that floodplain issues are not a concern in all areas, but if there is ever any doubt, it's a simple, easy check online that we just showed you, or you're getting a flood certificate to be 100% sure it's a quick, easy way to save yourself a lot of money. All right, while I'm standing here in this floodplain, I'm gonna go get my surfboard and do some surfing. While I'm doing that, please subscribe to our channel. Please like it. We really enjoy getting this content out. We do it weekly.